Hey y'all! Today is packing day. Yes, that's right. We leave tomorrow morning for a cruise and I have yet to pack. Slightly unusual for me, I know, but we're gonna do it today. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna pack all the things in the bags and um, be ready to go before 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. As you can see, I already started laying some stuff out on the bed, trying to get an idea of what I wanna pack because I wanna make this video as organized as possible. And it's going to be a challenge because sometimes I'm all over the place when I'm packing, but the end result always looks nice. Cullen, on the other hand, not so much. It doesn't matter. We're gonna, we're gonna get started. Now we are sailing on the Odyssey of the Seas for a six night Western Caribbean cruise out of Fort Lauderdale. So six nights, I am planning on taking this baby, um, my Go Penguin luggage. It is, it's carry-on size. You can take it on a plane as carry-on. So that's what I have. We only have one large suitcase. Helen typically packs that because his clothes are bigger and bulkier. So if I have anything extra that doesn't fit in my bags, I put it in that giant bag, but that's usually just like shoes or whatnot. But I bought this new bag off Amazon and I'm really excited about it, guys. Um, typically I bring like a Marshall's reusable bag or my beach bag and I just throw it on top of my little thing. Well, first of all, there's no pockets. So it's just literally all thrown in there. Second of all, when I'm dragging the suitcase, the bag falls over and then our stuff falls out. And so I just decided, first of all, it's my birthday. Second of all, to invest in a bag for cruising because we do it so much. And this one has one of those little trolley that I can hook onto the suitcase. And another important part, it has, or another cool part, it's important, it has this bottom zipper that I can put my shoes. Genius. Why didn't I think of this sooner? Let's get to packing. Oh dear, are you sad? I guess not. Before I start putting the things in the suitcase, I wanted to share with you exactly what I will be packing and how many of each thing. So six night cruise, I will bring six dresses, one for each night. I plan on bringing six bathing suits, three like casual outfits. We are going to try to run and work out on this cruise, which is actually unusual for us because by the time we're on the ship, we're working. If there is any downtime, we're tired. So we usually don't work out, but we are training for this 10K. So we're going to try our best to run while we're on the ship. So I'm bringing a couple workout outfits, some outfits to wear if we get to do like the eye fly and the rock climbing stuff. So some like athleisure wear. And I guess that's about it for clothes. Actually, before I put the stuff in the suitcase, I forgot this step because I'm in a hurry. Typically I like to steam my dresses before I put them in the suitcase since I can't bring a steamer and I hate to iron. So fun fact about Alyssa, don't like to iron. We do bring these um, downy wrinkle release sprayers. That's what they're called, right? Downy wrinkle releaser. We bring these downy wrinkle releasers. They're a lifesaver on the cruise, right? This will be for a quick touch up, but I do want to make sure that I get like the wrinkles out as much as I can before I put them in my suitcase. Another random fact about Alyssa, I used to sell wedding dresses. So I would use the steamer all the time to steam the dresses that came in. And I find it very therapeutic. That was the most therapeutic part of my job. Steam the dresses to de-stress after all the trauma. Now with all my dresses, I roll them as tight as possible and I put them in the top section of my suitcase. I don't bother with a packing cube for these because there's like an extra zipper part where it's only my dresses. So let me put all that stuff in here. All right, that is all packed. I know I said earlier that I was going to pack uh, six dresses, which I did actually. So there's one, two, three, four. This is a skirt, so there's a top five, six, but I am packing an, an extra outfit. So nice leggings and a top, just in case I want to wear something a little more casual for dinner and or um, I'm cold. So options guys, options. Unfortunately, in today's age of cruising, 
I have to pack a bunch of masks. I don't like the fabric ones. They make my face break out and I think they're kind of gross. So I buy off of Amazon just a pack of, this time I think I bought a pack of 100. The past couple times I bought a pack of 50. And then I bring two to three masks per person per day because first of all, they're disposable. Um, second of all, I don't like wearing my same mask from like all day on the ship and then going to dinner, getting dressed up, putting my makeup on, which is also a pain, I don't wanna wear a mask. But anyhow, I digress. Um, and then putting on a nasty mask from earlier. So I have a bunch of these that I'm just gonna put in my suitcase somewhere. Probably up here. Perfect fit. I'm gonna bring out the packing cubes for the rest of my clothes. Now we really love these packing cubes from Trip to Travel Gear. We have used them several times before. They always have great stuff. Um, and what I like about these are they are compression cubes. So you think, Alyssa, not a lot of clothes can fit in there. Well, that's where you're wrong. You can unzip and it expands, right? It expands, there's so much room for all your clothes in one little packing cube. But say you are only going for like a three day cruise and you don't need that many clothes and you're thinking, Alyssa, that's too big. Well, that's where you're wrong again. Zip this baby right up and it makes it smaller. Actually, here's another example. Here's another packing cube from Trip Travel Gear, one of the older ones that we had. This is housing all of my socks and underwear and all that stuff, which if you watch my other packing video from years ago, there were a lot of people asking me where my underwear was and that's just really weird. So first of all, don't be weird, I pack them. Second of all, they're in this packing cube. Anyhow, there's a lot of stuff, like look at all this room, right? But when you're trying to save space in a suitcase, it's too much. So you use these compressions, watch this, and it makes it smaller. Look at how much space I'm saving. Compression packing cubes. Guys, I'll link these in the description below. Ta-da! Get you some vacuum cubes. Guys, get you a wet bag for your bathing suits. First of all, I'm not sure what size this is. It's a fairly large one, but I fit like seven bikinis in here. So one, that's great for travel purposes, right? I can pack them in here. Oh, that's for my if you are going on an excursion and your bathing suit is wet and you wanted to change into something and then you didn't want to carry your wet bathing suit, it's a great option to have on your excursion. <laughs> you can change your clothes, carry your wet bathing suit, bring it back. Or if your bathing suits don't dry on the ship on the way home, you get what I'm saying. I always pack an extra. So I have one that I pack my clothes in and then I have one that I take with me just in case that way I don't have to unpack all my bathing suits in the cabin. All right, I think this is pretty much all I'm going to fit in this suitcase. As you can tell, I pack a lot of things. I'm always going to admit that. I feel like it's hard to be a travel vlogger and only pack three items. So I'm packing all the things and I'm shoving them in my suitcase. So I got my swimsuits, casual clothes, minus my shorts. I'm gonna put those somewhere else. My socks and underwear and my dresses and our masks. I think that's all I can fit. Kinda heavy. So I'm gonna pack my jean shorts and my cover-ups in this packing cube and put it in this bag. Um, I'm just remembering that I don't have an embarkation day outfit. So I need something to wear to the port. Unfortunately, tomorrow it's going to be like 50 degrees when we leave Clearwater and it's going to be like 80 degrees when we board the ship. So I have no idea what I'm going to wear, but I had planned on wearing jean shorts. And so I might be cold. Might just do it anyway. Wear a blanket. Cullen has entered the chat. Hello. What are you going to pack, honey? Um, I'm thinking two suits, four dress shirts, and find some slacks, and that's gonna cover my, my dinners at night. 
across the board. And then I'm gonna pack some gym clothes, get some workouts in, some swim trunks for, you know, excursion days and everything like that. Gym shoes, socks, and some underwear, and I think I should be good to go. Might pack two or three pairs of jean shorts just as like casual walking around the ship when we're not really doing anything, but I don't necessarily wanna put on, you know, pants or swim trunks. Like a Cozumel day. Like if it ends up pouring in Cozumel, I'm not gonna wanna wear swim trunks anywhere. Probably just gonna wear jean shorts. I forgot it's supposed to rain. Yeah, forecast looks like rain, unfortunately. So I'm gonna pack a rain jacket. I'm gonna do it. I have a portable, foldable rain jacket, actually very similar to this backpack. And I'm going to pack that. But this is my backpack for excursions. It's really nice because I can fold it up and then pack it and then use it for excursions or whatever I want. Other things that we pack that I just found, gin gins. Don't go on a cruise without gin gins. So I need a whole other bag of those because I only have like four. Oh, in the pockets of this, cause I already packed it and I don't want to unpack it to show you, but I'll show you on the ship. In the pockets of this, I do have our C-bands just in case. I do, like I said, have the gin gins and I have our corkscrew, have our corkscrew for our wine, which I will be bringing on board as well. Hopefully it'll get in this bag. If not, I really, I will bring my beach bag because I plan on bringing it for a perfect day. It's nice to have a beach bag to go off at like the private islands. That way you can just bring your towel and whatever else and just on your, your little beach bag. Your beach bag. I need help. Ask the people. Do you put shoes at the bottom or on top? And suits. Do you put suits at the bottom or at the top? Um, I, don't have, I don't have a garment bag. Right, I would say garment bag would be the first option. I would say the top for both. I'll let you guys let me know in the comment section below. I have no idea. I've been doing this for years and I keep mixing it up. I just don't know anymore. So I'll take those out. Look at this. How am I supposed to pack? You're in my space. Clearly, she doesn't care. Yeah, I know. I love you. So packing this bag is proving to be more challenging than I thought. The main issue is that I have to bring my own hair dryer. And I wish I didn't have to, but I do. So I have to bring my hair dryer plus my diffuser. So that takes up so much space. So there's that. I did recently purchase this bag um, on Amazon for all of my makeup, which is really nice. It all fits in that bag. Prior to that, I was using um, little Ipsy bags. I had subscribed to Ipsy for a little while, but I had stopped years ago. I was still using their bags to put all my makeup in and I had multiple. So this is nice because I can have one bag. So this will fit in here. Excursion bag will fit in here. I bought this for my skincare. I was hoping everything could fit in it, but I don't think like everything is in my skincare and my makeup. I don't think it's all gonna fit. So I don't know if I'm gonna bring it. I can't pack that until tomorrow though. So I'll let you know on the ship. Gonna have to bring my beach bag. I'm out of space. Dirty clothes bags, can't forget those. For the shoes that I'm taking, I always take a nice casual pair of flip-flops. I take a fancy pair of flip-flops for dinners. I take a fancy sandal, which I wore these on our wedding day, which is kind of nice. Special, get to wear those all the time. And then another casual sandal. I will also wear black flip-flops for when we go to the beach. And then my running shoes, which are over there somewhere. There, I'm gonna pack them in here. This is nice. Mama like this. Look at this. I feel like I worry about the bag falling off while I'm trying to run through the terminal right. to board the ship. Your suitcase is looking kind of nice and organized there. Thank you. I'm very surprised and I'm proud of myself. I'm proud that I did it. I didn't think I could. Look at that. It doesn't look that bad. I don't know. That suit coat. I don't know how to fold this. I feel the irritation is bubbling now. <laughs> It was fine. Okay. Yeah. Is it not going to? Alas, I still have to use this bag, but it is a nice size beach bag from the Bahamas and it can handle the rest of my stuff. So we have two bottles of wine. I pack in this wine bag. That way there's cloth separating the bottles and they don't break. I have my toiletries all in this lovely travel see-through case some reef safe sunscreen from Target and I'm gonna bring this. It's gonna have all my skincare in it, but like I said, I'm gonna pack that tomorrow. Sunglasses, 
sunglasses, sunglasses, and then of course my pack cap. Very the adventure coat. I think that's pretty much it. I hope I'm not missing anything. If I am, I will find out probably not soon enough. This is how we are packing for our cruise tomorrow, our six day Western Caribbean cruise on the Odyssey of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. So that's it, I guess. Thanks for following along. Let us know what is something you can't go without packing. Leave it in the comment section below. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and ta-ta for now. now.